I don't remember any of it. You don't remember? For you, the day Bison graced your village was the most important day of your life. But for me, it was Tuesday. Welcome to the Rated G for Gamers podcast, episode 141. Uh, Just a reminder before we start that you can find us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and Vero at Rated G for Gamers. You can always email us at info at Rated G for Gamers dot com. Please rate and review us on iTunes. We appreciate all the love. I'm your host, Dave Rotino. This is my co-host, Dan, the podcaster, formerly known as Classic Robinson. What's going on, man? You know, you know, I should have called you Dan. I've ate too much turkey, Robinson. I had four plates. I had four plates for Thanksgiving. Wow, you get the you get the gold star in that case. I I, couldn't, I cannot move. I cannot move on Friday. <laughs> I understand. I understand. I had I had two plates and I had to take a nap. My stomach was in knots. Oh my god. Well, this, this is how this is how my Thanksgiving went. Okay, mm-hmm. so. Uh, I went to mom cooked at home. Mm-hmm, okay. So I, mm-hmm, that was, same. that was, that was plate one. Same. Okay. Mm-hmm. That was plate one. Uh, my cousin, my older cousin, she, she's like in her early forties. Now she's sort of taken the mantle from like my mom and my aunts, right. Mm-hmm. From doing all the cooking. Cause you know, traditionally in my, in my family, my aunts and my mom would do all the cooking. Mm-hmm. My uncle can't cook a lick. So, um, <laughs> so he, bar, the barbecues, he mans the grill. Okay, yep. but like Thanksgiving, he can't cook a lick. Uh, but my older cousin, she has taken a mantle um, of like doing all the cooking. Uh, mm-hmm. She's gotten the recipes from all the aunts and my mom, and she's done a fantastic job in the last couple of years. Mm. So she did all the cooking, uh, most of it. My mom did some, some. My mom did a lot of the baking and stuff. So uh, went to my uncle's house. He hosted Thanksgiving this year, mm-hmm. and I had you know plate number one. Was the you know, plate number two? I, well, plate number one at my uncle's house, which was plate number two of the day. Got all the got all the fixings, right? Mm-hmm. Get everything that you can think of that could be at a, a, a Thanksgiving, you know, on the Thanksgiving uh, table. Right. And then plate number two at my uncle's house, which is plate number three, was all the ancillary stuff, uh-huh. right? Like we don't really do roast beef, but someone made roast beef and okay. got got all the macaroni salads uh-huh. and the potato salads and. You know, more stuffing, a little bit more mac and cheese. You guys do the mac. And- I was just gonna. Ask. We do the mac and cheese. You guys Listen, do the mac and cheese. This okay. is this is this is you know, this is this is an urban Thanksgiving. We have okay. mac and cheese I, and collard greens. People, look, look, look. I, I I heard some people online. Uh, they may or may not be friends of mine, uh, and they uh, they were kind of scoffing at the like mac and cheese not on my Thanksgiving table. And now, granted, granted, my family has never done the uh, the mac and cheese. If I saw mac and cheese on the table, I would dive head first into that into that bucket of mac and cheese. That is that is that is delicious. And I think I think that goes with everything else that's on the plate, right? Mix it in. Okay, so I, it's always fascinating. Like I love going to different people's house, like mm-hmm. of all of all cultures and races. Cause I always mm-hmm. like to see what they have for Thanksgiving, right? Right. Like we don't have actual salads, fancy salads. The only thing that has the only thing that has the name salad in it is macaroni salad, right? Or <laughs> potato salad, right? Potato it's gonna have salad. a lot of mayo in there, and you yeah. know, yeah. But I went to a coworker. I went to a coworker's Thanksgiving a couple of years ago, mm-hmm. and that coworker is Italian, and they always mm-hmm. and they have fancy salads and stuff. Um, oh yeah, they do. They do. They do the anti pasta and all that stuff. Yeah. Yeah, I think, I think I could <clears throat> guess that this would be at your Thanksgiving. Mm-hmm. But if you would ask my mom and my aunt, they would say, "There's no way that will that that pot will be on this table with mm-hmm. with that for Thanksgiving." And that is mashed potatoes and gravy. Wait, you guys don't have mashed potatoes and gravy? Not for Thanksgiving, no. That is what? not a Thanksgiving. 
we, we that nope. I'm telling you, we don't have mashed. Wait. There is no mashed potato. No mashed potato. So you have the stuffing. You have, we the have corn. The stuffing. We do. You have, we do. Or, yeah. or 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 some people call it dressing if it's if they don't stuff the bird with it. Sure, sure, sure. I'll take it other way. You know, I'll, I'll take it other way. Corn, right? Corn is there. Uh, sometimes not 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 this year. No corn. Really? It was not all right. Corn. So. Okay. We can go. We, can, we listen. We go different dish, man. I, uh, had, let's let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. We did with, with the big turkey with the dressing. I mean dressing stuffing. I yeah, think. same, same. It was a huge bird too. Uh-huh. Uh, we 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 had mac and cheese, collard greens, okay, rice. We don't have the, the mac and cheese. We 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 do we do uh, green beans and uh, green beans and fried onions. Yes, I've mm-hmm. I've, I've had that at a, a Thanksgiving. That, mm-hmm. That's always good too. Um, no, we don't really do cranberry sauce. We have cranberry sauce, but no one usually touches it. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of that either. We we, we have a, my family likes it. I don't like it. I don't know why <laughs> in an African American Thanksgiving, why this is a thing. Mm-hmm. But there's always in it one Italian dish. It's either okay. bacon or spaghetti. Mm-hmm. N- never, never spaghetti in my household. Usually bacon or lasagna. But I've seen spaghetti. I, I I'll take it too. You know it. it I don't know how much I'd be able to eat of it, but yeah, that would definitely be going on my plate. We had two different types of rice, like I said, rice and beans, and then it was sort of like a Spanish rice. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then not everyone likes turkey. A lot of the kids don't like turkey, so we had a uh, pretty much fried fried turkey, uh, fried turkey, <laughs> fried chicken wings. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We had like the fried the mini chicken wings. Sure. Yeah. For yeah, the kids, the little, like yeah, the little little handheld things they can kind of pick up and eat. Yeah, so mm-hmm. a lot, and uh, I'm trying to think. I'm sure I'm missing. We had roast beef, okay. ham. Okay. Uh, you do you do like uh you you do like uh onions and like a white sauce. We do that. Well, no, we have gravy. We have the brown okay. gravy that goes yeah. over everything. Um, yeah, that off the top of my head, that's the only thing I can. That's what I can think of. I'm sure. Oh, the yam, candy yams. Oh, the yams. Yeah, I I've. <clears throat> over like the last couple of years, I have become a fan. I never used to eat the yams. I never wow, used to eat the sweet potatoes. That's the best part. You know, I was like, because it doesn't look very appetizing, right? It looks like a pile of trash to me. It, it uh, Visually, it looks awful. So I'm like, I don't want any part of that. Uh-uh. And then over the last like couple of years, I'm like, I- I'll try some. And now I'm in heaven. I can't eat Thanksgiving dinner without it. Throw a little gravy on top of that. Oh, oh it's good. So my my second plate at my uncle's house, which was my third plate of the day, was like you know the Spanish rice, the mm-hmm. chicken wings, the roast beef, uh, some of the yams, and some more macaroni salad because you can't get enough macaroni. I mean, uh, macaroni salad and mac and cheese mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. because no one takes home no one takes mac and cheese home because it never makes it throughout the night. It right, always it disappears. Just, it, just, it just goes. Yeah, yeah. It just goes. So that was plate number three of the day, and then plate number four was all the sweets. Sweet mm-hmm. potato pie, mm-hmm. uh, chocolate cake, coconut cake, and some rum cake for the adults. <laughs> oh, very nice. Yeah, you do some like Caribbean, uh, some Caribbean, some Caribbean rum cake. Caribbean rum cake, nice. Mm-hmm. You guys, you guys do the pies too, right? Apple pie, blueberry. Uh, no, uh, no, pumpkin? just sweet potato pie. Just sweet potato pie and cheesecake. Just sweet potato pie. Ooh, just sweet potato pie and cheesecake. Yeah. Ooh, yeah. So that was that was pretty much what we had. Okay. Uh, I'm sure I'm, I'm sure I'm missing something, but you know if it was there, it was on my plate at some point. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. A lot of drinking, a lot of drinking. Oh, of course, of course. I started early. Started early with the wine. I was like, started pouring and pouring heavy, and then uh, we do uh, <laughs> we do these. Uh, I have to make them for you one time. We do these things called Brandy Alexanders, which is. Which is essentially it's 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 brandy, obviously. Uh, it's a little bit of cream de cocoa, and uh, we use we use we use ice cream instead of heavy cream. Are you supposed to use heavy cream? You can use either one. I think it's better with the ice cream. It tastes Ooh, ice like cream. candy. Yeah, and then you can even throw a little bit of like uh, nutmeg or cinnamon on top. I think, right? Just for like okay. a garnish. Oh my god, so good, so good. Ooh. Had those as like a had those as like a pre dinner drink, right? And then the little like hot dogs wrapped up, the little hot dogs in the blanket, pigs in a blanket. Throw a little, throw a little sweet mustard on there. Boom, kicked it off right. You know. So you guys had like appetizers, pretty much. Right? Yeah, yeah, just like a little bit. Okay. You know, a little bit to tide us over. So we'll do like a decent breakfast. 
we'll throw the appetizers in around like one o'clock. And then by like, by like four, by the time the first football game is like just winding up, we're ready to eat. Right. Well, I, again, my, my appetizer is usually plate number one in the morning at my house. Mm -hmm. All right. So we had a great Thanksgiving. Let's get on. Well, you know what? Before we get in, get on what uh, what's coming out next month? Did you see those leaked images? Well, I think IGN got an official image of uh, from the from the set of the monster the Monster Hunter movie. Did you see that? Yeah, I did. I did. We saw we saw we Mila Jojovich and uh, Tony Ja running in the desert, right? Wait, wait what's her name? Jojovich. Jojovich. Yeah, <laughs> Mila Jojovich. 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 Mm-hmm. Jojovich. Okay, Jojovich. Oh yeah. Miss Jojovich. Well, I just call her Alice. She'll always be Alice in my mm-hmm, eyes. Right. Yeah, yeah. Resident she'll Evil. Always, she'll from, always be Alice from Resident, Resident Evil. Evil. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, she she posted a picture on Twitter of, like, her on set. And, you know, they they were just chilling in the cut. And they looked like they were military of some kind, right? And then there's a... So that was a picture she posted on Twitter. And there was an official picture that was sort of given to IGN. And it was her and Tony Ja, and they're like running in the desert. She looks totally like she doesn't look like she should be in Monster Hunter at all. No, Tony she... Ja looked, he had the whole gear on with the sword, with like with the, you know, like was the monster claw or whatever. Yeah, he looks he looks like he's in armor, right? Yes. She looks like she's an extra in the Fallout movie, which should by all means be out already. I don't. I hope it's not one of those things where she was in an alternate universe and they they fell through a pipe, right? And instead of hitting Super Mario Land, they hit Monster World, Monster oh Hunter God. World. <laughs> I I don't I don't think that's it. I think it. I I hope I hope that's not it. Uh, I feel like it's just a. Uh... Why well, can't it, I just wanted? I want her to be in that world or from that world or that or that dimension. Don't make it an alternate dimension. Don't make it no exactly, something exactly. crazy that has nothing she, to do with Monster she, Hunter. She, she she may just have the starter armor, and she hasn't she hasn't picked up uh, anything good yet in the game. <laughs> Maybe that's it. They, they, they have to chase they have to, they have to chase a criminal uh, through the Monster Hunter world, right? Oh, Monster Hunter God. land, and they're like, oh, oh we have to go there. Right, yeah, we got to armor up. We need uh-huh. a tour guide. They're dimensional. They're dimensional uh, and time traveling cops. That's that's what it is. And they solve uh, crime. <laughs> uh, that movie's gonna suck. <laughs> they're ta- they're chasing someone named John Monster. <laughs> that that's that movie's and gonna they're suck. Monster hunters. That movie's gonna suck. But you know what didn't suck? Uh-huh. Castlevania. We talked about this. The Castlevania, oh, Castlevania animated. Badass. Castlevania I still, anime I, Netflix series. I know. Awesome. I know I said I was going to watch season two. I still have yet to see season two. You got to watch season two. I know. It's not that long. I know. I know. There's a lot of good stuff. There's a lot of good stuff to play and watch. Hard to do both. So. Listen, I've already, I've made up my mind. At some point in between December and some point in January, mm-hmm. I will finish all the Netflix Marvel series. I will finish <laughs> Iron Fist so I can watch well, they the already, Defenders. Well, they already canceled half of them, so it's, it's going to make it easier for you going forward. Well, no, I got to finish I got to finish Iron Fist season one. Yeah. And then I got to see the Defenders. Yeah. You and then Luke Cage season two. And then I got to finish Luke Cage season two, Jessica Jones season two, Iron Fist season two, and then I can see Daredevil season three. Wait, wait. Iron Fist got a second season? Yeah, I think it was season two, and that was it. And then that was it. Uh, maybe. I thought they just had the one season. Maybe. Right. No, no, no. no. Right. They had two seasons. All right. Uh, I just, that weak story, man. Well, I, I couldn't make it past three episodes at the time, but I can do it I, now. Um, I can do it yeah, now. I can I, finish. I haven't seen any Iron Fist, so I don't even know. But I just I just heard nothing good about it. So I was like, why? Well, why people, bother? well. You know what? The critics panned it, but people said it was wasn't as bad as as the critics thought. Um, mm-hmm. I mean, look at the Venom movie. Critics killed the Venom movie. Yeah. The Venom movie fans uh, seemed to like it. You know, and the, Ven- the Venom movie was going crazy. Everybody in Japan, I mean, not at Japan, China oh, loves it. Yeah, China, China gets real weird with that stuff. <laughs> it, it almost grossed right now. It's almost uh, grossed mm-hmm. same out as Spider Man. The Venom movie. That's crazy. That seems, well, well, well. Gross Home, came out coming. As, home, sorry, Homecoming. Right, Homecoming. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You have to specify because there's like 17 different Spider-Man well, franchises. Yeah. That's crazy. But Castlevania, awesome uh, anime uh, on Netflix. Go watch oh, yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, apparently, there's going to be a Devil May Cry anime. 
uh, made by the same person who created, well, who, who pretty much produced the Castlevania one. Uh, Addy, Addy Sankar. What's his name? I'm horrible with names. Shankar. Addy Sankar. Addy, yeah. Addy Shankar. With an A. Shankar. Shankar. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, it's better than uh, Mila Jojovich. Hey, you got it. First try. <laughs> well, that's not her name. It is. <laughs> it's not Jojovich. It is. It's not Jojovich. It, it is Jojovich. You said I, Jojovich. Jojovich. Yeah. Well, I mean, Jojovich. I was I was deliberately saying it's slower and 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 on purpose so that I could get her name right because it's just hard say, to say. It's not. It's not. I can I, listen. I'm horrible Mila with names. J. I'm horrible with names. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure it's not Jojovich. <laughs> it is Jojovich. No, not Jojovich. All right. It's not pronounced Jojovich. We you can should... agree. We can both agree that you're wrong. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's not true. you're right we can both agree that i'm saying it wrong which is the way you were saying it you're right oh god but anyway mr shankar actually mm-hmm. he, he said there may be tease there may be a devil may cry castlevania crossover don't know how it, that would work because castlevania yeah. is sort of yeah. back you know medieval times castlevania is castlevania is anywhere from the 11th century up to the 18th Maybe even the early 19th century. I think I think there's one that takes place in the present day or like near future, but it was a weird one, so I don't even know. Well, like Dante Dante is very much in the present, you know. Devil may cry. I mean, I don't. I mean, I know devil. The, listen, if if the guy who made Castlevania is producing the Devil May Cry series, mm-hmm. it, it's going to be fantastic. I mean, he even said it himself. He got the rights to do the movie. Well, do to do the anime show because he didn't want Hollywood to fuck it up. Right. That that is that is the best statement right there. Right. He didn't want Hollywood to fuck it up. Like that's great. The dedication right there is ah. Oh. I just don't see how he's gonna have a shared universe with Castlevania and Devil May Cry. I think that's gonna be weird. And 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 why It'll be even, a little why weird. Even, why even bother trying to do that? You know. Everybody Once, wants to have a shared universe. Come on. Also, that's the thing. also that's the thing nowadays. Well, it, it, sure, but also one of them's Konami and one of them's Capcom, right? They're owned by two different studios, so you know he's going to have to get clearance from both those companies to be like, sure, you can do this. You know, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. A lot of work, but I'm sure this has all already been in the works. I mean, because mm-hmm. he even put it out there. So yeah, yeah, true. All right, let's get into the. It is the end of November. Yep. We're heading into December. Let's get into the notable games coming out next month. Mm-hmm. I have to course correct. I said something in October about the games coming out in November that was incorrect. It was Monster Boy, The Cursed Kingdom. Uh, it was supposed to be released, uh, I think, November 6th. But that, on every damn platform. And every damn platform. But that was pushed back uh, to December 4th. Mm-hmm. And you know, the only platform that matters when you're playing a, playing a Wonder Boy remake or sequel, this is the unofficial sequel, mm-hmm. is the Switch. Just buy it on the Switch. Of course. Always. Oh, given the, given the choice, always buy it on the Switch. Come on now. You can play it on a go. Unless you yeah. want just that perfect, perfect crisp 4K look, buy it on Xbox One X. Or yeah. if you want to play it in VR, buy it on the PS4. Well, there you go. Here you go. And that, 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 that actually, that 100% informs my decision on whether to buy the game, right? If it's an indie game... 100% it's going to be on the Switch. If I want the best graphics, Xbox, and if, if it has VR support, yeah, I'll buy it on PS4. Uh, just, call it, just Cause 4, mm-hmm. coming out for PS4, Xbox One, and PC, has also come out the same day, December 4th. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'll be picking that one up for PS4, only because the Just Cause 3 came out, you know, I think, in December. Same, yeah, December of... Uh, right around the same time. 2016, right? Mm-hmm. So I'll be picking that up. Mm. Persona 3 and 5, Dancing in the Moonlight and Dancing in the Starlight, will be coming out for PS4 and Vita the same day, December 4th. Yeah, there you go. There you go. I know you're going to get these for the Vita. Uh, I, doubt these be, I doubt these will be official physical release for the Vita. Mm-hmm. These will probably all be digital. Yeah, um, yeah, sadly. I'm going to do something different. I usually go in order of uh, when uh, the release date, but I'm going to mm-hmm. skip this game to go to Earth Defense Force 5 coming out on PS4 December 11th. Mm-hmm. Just to get that out of the way because no one's going to care because a little game, a small game you've probably heard of coming out December 7th, only for one platform and one platform only, and that's the Switch. It's Super uh, Smash Brothers Ultimate. 
Oh, you mean Super Smash Brothers for the uh, the remake? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, Super the Smash Brothers. Edition. Super Smash Brothers for Wii U remake. As Dan Ultimate loves edition. to, uh, yes. as Dan loves to call it. No, it's not a new game. It's it's a new game. Get the it's, hell out of it's, here. It's 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 a new a, game. It's a remake of the Wii U version they, with, they, they with some extra characters. So much new to it. Sakurai would be rolling over in his grave if he were dead right now. <laughs> <laughs> he put so much effort into this to call it a port or a remake of the Wii U one is insulting. I think it's the port of the Wii U oh with, the, with, with a few extra characters. Yeah, yeah. It's just every character ever in, in the Smash Brothers series. Yeah, in every damn stage ever, and eight hundred different music tracks and all new modes. Yeah, no, it's just a port. <laughs> it's the port. It's just a port. <laughs> It's yeah, a, it's so that, a, it's, that game it's a simple it's a simple port. You know. That yeah, yeah. Th- that game is gonna be the new hotness. It's gonna be number one on the charts. I'm pretty sure it's gonna it's gonna outseat uh Red Dead, at least for a little bit, right? Come on, you don't think dancing uh, in the moonlight for PS4 <laughs> will out will, will outsell uh, Smash Brothers? <laughs> so- I mean I'm sure it's gonna be a great game, like and I love Persona, don't get me wrong. I'm probably gonna wait till the till those games go on sale. <laughs> Uh, I, I don't have any of the. Bucks. I don't have any of the dancing persona games. Not my right. thing. Uh, I just buy the Just Dance games. Ah, just there you go. Because I want to be the last. Want to have the remember. last game released for the Wii. <laughs> In the Wii U, but uh, I that I can't even say that for the Wii U anymore because it just came out that Limited Run Games is going to make Wii U games. <laughs> yeah, how weird is that? I'm going to buy them. I'm oh, going to buy them. I mean, I listen, know. I, you we, know what I want? Always, always coming up with good stuff. I want I want all the Wii U games that were canceled for the Wii U to come out for the Wii U to for a <laughs> limited run. Yeah, right. I want I want them to come out for the limited run. Um, so, Dave, did you get any good Black Friday pickups? Oh, you better believe I did. I wouldn't be <clears throat> I wouldn't be called a true blue American, a red blooded American, if I didn't celebrate the second best holiday of the year, Black Friday. What's, there the first, were, what's the first best holiday of the year? Obviously Halloween. That makes sense. That makes sense, Dave. <laughs> For like, me, at least, you know, I like to dress up. You like like to, well, you mean you mean Halloween one, right? Halloween go, one. Because <laughs> <Yeah, yeah. laughs> there is no Halloween two. It's just Halloween. No, when we, when we go to PAX, it's Halloween two. <laughs> ah, oh, I see. PAX is Halloween two. Sure, sure, sure. sure the, yeah. PAX East is Halloween. It's the next PAX after so, Halloween, that, right? Or, or no, no. I think PAX Aus. Aussie is after, but that doesn't count. Right. No, Pax no. East. Okay. Pax in the East Coast. East. You, you, you like, you, you dress up, you dress up, you know, you do. Sometimes. Yeah. Sometimes I'll, you know, I'll rock some of my old costumes. Yeah. It's sure. Halloween. It's Halloween too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, so, we gotta call, uh, so we have to call this Halloween one under the Dave <sighs> standard, right? No, you're right. You're right. Just like Christmas one and Christmas two. Yeah, doesn't make any sense, but go ahead. <laughs> so, you know, everything was half price except for Red Dead, except for Spider-Man. Uh, sadly, I'm I'm surprised Spider Man wasn't on sale. You know, everything else was uh, keep that value. I know. So I I I really wanted Spider Man. Couldn't couldn't find Spider Man for thirty bucks, but I did get Dragon Quest Four and Assassin's Creed Odyssey for the uh, for Xbox One and Dragon Quest for uh, PS4. Uh, I got another Echo Dot because I need to turn my house into a complete robot. <laughs> So I got another dot for the uh, the guest bedroom in the back. So that'll be all hooked up, right? And you can just control whatever you want in the house. Uh, I got a 400 gig SD card from SanDisk, uh, which is probably going to go in the Switch, right? And I will never need to take that out ever again. Um, that was super cheap. Uh, and I think it's actually still on sale from SanDisk if you go to Amazon. Yeah, it went up, it went up a little. I tried oh, it, it did? Okay. Yeah, it's not well, 80. I got it for... It's, it's... Okay. Yeah, it's not eighty anymore. It's it's like hundred and ten. Oh shit! Yeah, so I got it for eighty. It goes for two hundred fifty bucks, which is insane. Normally, um, I got the Mitsurugi uh, Tokadu figure, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, I think you also picked that up too, possibly. I did. I did. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So I had to get that. The box was a little beat up, and it was the last one that GameStop had. So I'm like, eh, it's fine. I'll take it. You know, it's gonna be out of the box anyway on display. And Ooh, uh, you, you take those out of the box, the the Tataku, the Tataku figures. I didn't take. I didn't take the um, the Crash Bandicoot one. I still got that, the one you got me for uh, my birthday. I have that sitting at the top. That's pristine in the box. So I'm gonna I'm gonna leave that as is. But 
the Mitsurugi one's a little beat up, you know. So I may yeah, take it out sense. of the box, you know. And then I got a, I got that's you and knowledge is power for the PS4. Uh, that also, uh, that's knowledge in the, is power. What is, which one is that? Those are those are those are PlayLink games. Uh, there were there were those two. There was Hidden Agenda, and uh, I want to say there was another one too. And basically, basically, it's a game that you just use your phone as your controller, right? If you ever play the Jackbox Party games or whatever. Yeah, you know, you know, your phone is the controller. Everyone has a smartphone and whatnot. It's great to so use it to like draw and answer questions and and you know whatever else. Use it as like your personal screen, and then you use your PS4 to display the the game itself, right? Um, so those were like a dollar each at uh, GameStop, right? Which is insane because I got I got Hidden Agenda not from GameStop, but I got it for seventeen bucks, right? And that was in the same vein of these these uh, games. Both of these games are great. Uh, can't pass up a buck each. So, and then finally, uh, Command and Conquer Three, which I've always had this game, but I let my brother uh borrow it for a while, and then he ended up bringing it back for Thanksgiving. I was like, oh, I totally forgot you had this game. So, you know, I got that back in the collection again. So happy about that. Yeah, nice. Mhm. Mhm. So, what about you? I know you picked up some good stuff. I got a late start. On Black Friday, you did. Uh, yeah. Woke up. You went um, out. You actually trudged out in the cold. Is that right? I I I, I did drive out. We did go out in the cold. Mm. Uh, I got a late start because mm. you know I couldn't exactly wake up. Um, I couldn't move. Uh, you know, <laughs> I couldn't really move. Yeah, I got a really late start. I didn't get out. You did have. You did have four plates of food. I did have four plates of food and God knows how many, uh, you know, cups of uh, whiskey and coke. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I did get out. I got some things. I did not get the Spider-Man bundle like I said I might want to, but I, I'm kind of glad I didn't. I'm kind of mm-hmm. glad I didn't. I, just as FYI, I think that will be the normal price going forward for the Slim after holidays. It'll go back up and then it'll go back down at some point. Yeah, yeah. And then I that's think, when I'll pick it right. up. And then that's when I'll pick it up. So I'm mm-hmm. I'm not too worried. Uh, all I really do need is the Slim PS4 Slim because I have the OG PS4 and I have the PS4 Pro. Mm-hmm. Once I get the slim, I have all three SKUs. Yep. Um, so I'm not really worried. I'll get that up at some point. The slim, especially when the PS5 is announced, right? That'll definitely go on sale. Probably. Oh my god! Yeah. At some point, right? So I don't need it, but I kind of just want it to fill out because I have all three SKUs of the Xbox. I have the. Mm-hmm. Yeah, beta... they're just nice to have if you got the room, you know. Yeah, I got the beta machine, OG X, uh, Xbox One. The beta <laughs> I got the Xbox One S and the Xbox uh-huh. One X Scorpio yeah, edition. All right. All right. Uh, nice so I didn't get Oreo cookie, right? Because you got you got the uh, the S's in the white, right? The S's in the white, yes. There you go. It yeah. is actually, yeah, that's Oreo true. cookie. Uh, but I did get I picked up a Smash Brothers GameCube controller for the Switch. Nice. Uh, it came out like two weeks ago, but it was sold out everywhere, even in a Nintendo store. I could have bought it at Nintendo store, but the Nintendo store was pretty packed. And I had to get back to work, mm-hmm. and I came back maybe the next day, two days later, and it was sold out. So that's that's so I, I'm, I'm happy to get that in the fold. Nice. Uh, I did get the Tataku figures. Figures. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. I had. I got the Halo Master Chief, Knuckles, and Tails. Mm-hmm. See, so I, picked... I thought these were uh, uh, PlayStation exclusive, but I guess not. No, 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 no. They, they it just they announced that PlayStation was letting them, like, giving them the license to make PlayStation uh, figures. See, games. that's where my confusion was coming in because I saw a lot of like non ps4 exclusive characters or playstation exclusive characters and i was like it's a little weird but now it makes sense yeah 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 but the the, the thing about the taco figures is that i think they were only making one run of those mm-hmm. one print of those and then that's it uh, so like right now bloodborne the only way to get bloodborne is to buy it online right so for a hell of a ton of money yeah well these things cost like 10 bucks so if you have 30 bucks you can buy <laughs> you can buy the bloodborne figure right uh, because they're not gonna make them. They're not making any more. Uh, I missed out on the Sonic one. I think you can still order it on uh, GameStop.com, but I have to mm-hmm. pay for shipping, which kind of sucks. Mm-hmm. Um, so I, I got those. I picked that. I picked those up. Uh, I got real quick my Lukey haul uh, from Lukey Games. That actually mm-hmm. came in. Shout out I to have, Lukey Games. I have a uh, Akami Akami Den for the DS. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I have the That's legendary the uh, the, the, uh, the sequel. That is the All sequel. Right. Yeah. I have the legendary Starf, uh, Starfy, yeah, Star- Starfy, 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 Starfy. Yeah. Starfy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, I heard that was a hidden gem, so I had to pick that up. Indeed. For the DS. Uh, I got Jurassic Park the game. 
I think this was one of the first Telltale games, right? That they put oh, out. Oh, one of the choose your own adventure games. I didn't even know this was a thing from Telltale. Yeah, yeah, they did Jurassic Park, mm-hmm. and then they had um, Back to the Future. Mm-hmm. Which I remember I Back to the Future. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and then it, it, I think Jurassic Park was like the first one. I got a view, uh, the beautiful Joe, uh, for the PSP. Mm-hmm. That they have a beautiful Joe game now, and then I have Soul Bubbles for the DS. Mm, only a, game only. Yeah, yeah. This is a hard to find game, a very expensive game, uh, hidden gem of sorts. Well, it's not that expensive. It's just hard to find it complete. Well, uh, complete. It's yeah. It's a bit of money. Because uh, every online, it's all complete sealed, and mm-hmm. you, you don't know if that's really sealed or not. That's why I don't like playing sealed games. Right, right. Because I'm spending all the money for it to be sealed, but I want to open it and play it. So exactly, exactly. You don't you don't care that it is sealed, but yeah, I don't care that it's sealed because I'm going to open it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I got that. I picked up NBA 2K19. Nice. Uh, you know, I, I got I have all the NBA 2K games. Mm-hmm. Okay. I was all about it back in 360 PS3 days. Right. A little bit about it back in, you know, when PS4 first came out. And I mm-hmm. sort of just, you know, I sort of just fizzled out. I hate that they changed. I, I, I think I've had a gamer grief, a gamer rant of mm-hmm. some sort uh, about this when they changed the one button pick where I, I could set a pick by just hitting one button. Now I have to do a play to set a pick. And sometimes you just want to set a pick. You don't want to run a play. Right. Right. Once they took that feature out, I was sort of lukewarm on, on playing the game anymore. Mm-hmm. Uh, I got WWE uh, 2K19 also. Picked that up for the PS4. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Picked up a little game you may have heard of called Mario Plus Rabbit's Kingdom Battle for the Switch. Oh, oh, oh. there you go. What do you think about that? Well, how well, you, how we'll, get it, we'll get it. We'll get it. We'll get. We'll get into that. Okay. In a okay. We'll get into that okay. Second. I'm curious. Let me just finish this. I got mm-hmm. Battlefield Five, and I'll give you my thoughts on that. <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I got that for the PS4, uh, and then also, lastly, you know, I told you I had to pick this up: Super Mario Maker 3DS on the 2DS, oh, which makes course. no sense. Oh, okay. yeah, right. <laughs> it literally 3DS, says on the box 2DS version. Yeah, yeah. It says for the three uh, 3DS Super Mario Maker 3DS on the 2DS. That is ridiculous. So I had to get my special edition 2DSs. Mm-hmm. Dave, as we always try to start the show and epically fail, what have you been playing? Oh, my favorite, favorite, favorite part of the show. I I have been playing, uh, still, is the continuation of what I've been playing last week. <laughs> Final <laughs> Fantasy III and the SNES Classic. Uh, still going strong. Still on my way to 100% complete that How game. How far are you in this game? Because you I had am... to restart the game. Just, I did have to, I, I had to restart, yeah, I basically had to restart from the beginning of the game. I had to go back because I missed a couple monsters, and you need to get every monster so you can learn all their techniques when you're, when you're, when you're on the Velt with Gao. It's a whole thing, and it's super annoying because you only fight certain monsters at certain times, and sometimes you can't go back to that area because it was a special thing, or the thing crumbles, or whatever, you can't get back in, and that's it. Can't fight these people ever again. Um, I think I'm about halfway through. Basically, uh, spoilers for a uh, 24-year-old game. Uh, the world ends up collapsing at, at like halfway through the game, and everything turns to ruin, and you're in the world of ruin, right? And <coughs> all of the monsters are different, right? Because it's the second part of the game, right? So things need to get stronger, and this and that. Everything, everything evolves. There's all new areas. So if you missed anybody in the first half of the game... You're SOL. You can't go back because everything's everything's changed. So <clears throat> I'm right about the part where I have to jump off the giant floating continent, right? And once you do that, that's it. And the world goes to ruin. And then you have to uh, you have to just keep going from from like there on out. So I'm making sure I get everything. I'm ju- I'm just about there. I'm just about I'm just about halfway. I'm just about fifty percent through it right now. I think. Okay. So right. um, you know beyond that. Uh, I am also playing uh, Dead Cells and Enter the Gungeon on the Switch. You know, got to get those indie games, which are fantastic. And then Red Dead 2, obviously. Red Dead forever. You know. Wow. And Red Dead Still going strong. Still yeah. going strong. Of okay. course. Of course. What do you got? All right. So I'm still going strong with Knack. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yes. Knack, baby. 
Knack, baby. I, I've been playing Knack, and honestly, I probably would play it more if it wasn't for the fact that the save states in, in Knack 1 suck. Mm-hmm. They're, they're right? a little few and far between, right? You really need to put... You, need, you really need to... If you fail, right, they send you all the way back. They and do. If you, and if you... And I, I made the mistake, and I'm just like, ah, oh, you know what? I rage quit, and they sent me all the way back to the first, le- like the, the first level of the stage. Oh, yeah. yeah and I was right. like, I got to do all of that stuff over again? Right, oh, right. See, God. There's, see, there's, see, there's no checkpoints. There's just save points, right? So you... Just save not points. Like, not like you get to a certain point, and like... As long as you don't shut the console off, you can keep going from this point. Like, no, they take you all the way back to the safe spot. It's a little bit brutal. It's take it, take it like, take it like this. I take mm-hmm. it from uh, Super Mario Brothers Three. It's something you can get. You know how you get the, the first game stage. ever. The best game on any on the NES, correct? Um, you know, okay, <laughs> the best game ever. Yeah, you, know, you get like the first stage, right? And mm-hmm. you, and then you get to Bowser. Yeah. Uh, well, you get to one of the Koopaling, not Bowser. Sure, sure. Let's three, say yeah. you let's say you lose. Right. You lose you against rage, Larry or Iggy or whoever it is, yeah. And you rage quit and you just cut the game off. Mm-hmm. It sends you back to world one of that stage. Yep. Yep. <laughs> like, you know how frustrated that means you have to go through everything over again. It just I doesn't understand. make any sense. The save sets don't make any sense. Anyway. Right. Even this is a 2015 game. It still doesn't make any sense. Right. But anyway. Uh, I've been playing a little bit of Super Mario 3D Land on the 3DS. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, fantastic game. Uh, th- that helped me through just, uh, I want to say, you know, all, all, all my, all my car ride when I was, you know, not feeling too well, let's just say on, mm. on do some black Friday shopping. Mm. I had the 3ds with me. Um, I tried to make battlefield five replace my call of duty tradition. And I, I have to say it didn't, it didn't, it didn't live up to the past call of duty really it, it, it didn't it didn't listen i want a squad okay i want to have a squad with me and i want to go in i want to infiltrate and take it out all right story-based squad i don't want a real squad okay yeah all okay. right i want a story-based squad in battlefield 5 you get uh, i think four or five story missions mm-hmm. and they're pretty much solo have to infiltrate stealth yeah, yeah. Stealth ain't your jam. Stealth is not my jam, and I, I want a squad. Come on, this is war. Give me a squad, and let's go in and tactically figure out how we're going to do this. And I'm the lead, okay, with my NPCs behind me who are smart. I don't, I don't, I don't want another stealth World War II game where I got to figure out, you know, how to put this huge bomb on this tank without right. being spotted. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Do you think? Do you think it would help if it was? Um, I think it would help if it was like a uh, present day or near future. Yes, and I could super jump and 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 have machine guns on me. Yes. Okay. Okay. I think so I, it's, I, it's, it's 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 partially the lack of a squad, partially the environment of the setting of the game. I I think I'm real. I think I was really really sort of. I just I needed a Call of Duty Black Ops Four story mission. That's that's what I really I really needed that. Mm-hmm. I really I just I'm so disappointed. And you know Black Friday shopping, I saw a bunch of people buy Black Ops Four. Like mm-hmm. I was in Target, I was at Best Buy, and everyone was talking about Black Ops Four. Mm-hmm. And and one guy was just like, you know, there's no story on that, right? And he's like, really? There isn't. Mm-hmm. He's like, I'm gonna buy it anyway, though, like just right. to check it out. Right, right. But I'm like, there's no story mission. Yeah. So this this yeah. is one of those guys that's gonna return it. <laughs> I, I think right. I, I think I think a lot of people are going to return this game because I think a lot of casual gamers who aren't in the know are mm-hmm. going to buy it just because it's Call of Duty, right? right. Because they they buy that every year and they go like, "Wait, there's no story? What? Mm-hmm. What?" <laughs> you just assume, right? You just assume. You just yeah. assume because it's Black Ops Four. Mm-hmm. But I'm very disappointed in Black in Battlefield Five. I will. I'm not saying the game sucks. I'm not saying the game's not good. It's just not what I needed at this time. And I will go back to it and, and play it when I'm in the mood to play a stealth game. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to lie. I've been playing Mario plus Rabbit's Kingdom Battle. I've held off for, what, two years now? A year? Well, uh, when, did, like, when did it come out? You're like, it's a strategy it game? It came out uh, I think, last I think, year. I think, last summer. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That sounds about right. And then they just had the new DLC uh, drop, like, uh, September, maybe? 
I yeah. Think. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, you know, it's a strategy game. It's a tactical game, but it's it's light strategy, you know? So I figured, I figured, I figured you'd be about it, you know? It's, it's like, not. Oh, it's got. It's, it has my attention now. I don't know if mm-hmm. it'll keep my attention. It's cute. First of all, it's beautiful. They nailed the right? visual aspect of this game. Yeah. It's beautiful. Um, I'm still learning. I don't really play tactical games. I'm still learning how to sort of maneuver around the world right mm-hmm. a battle i should say not the world a battle mm-hmm. uh i've played maybe about an hour and a half of it it's cool i liked it i it's still i it's still in my switch suspended and the <laughs> only reason why I, I i i the only reason why i even gave it a shot to play it is because i've been playing celeste mm. i bought celeste uh, the, uh, i was Finally. waiting for the digital i was waiting Finally. for the digital uh eShop discounts. Mm-hmm. I got five dollars off, mm-hmm. so I bought fourteen bucks. Better than twenty dollars, I tell you. Nice. The game. I got to say, I was wrong, Dave. You were right. I got to give it to you. you. The game is fantastic. I, I, told l- you. I love this game. Mm-hmm. This game is hard. <laughs> <laughs> this game yeah, is it's tough. hard. It's tough. Have you gotten but, any of the uh, B sides yet? Uh. No, I don't. Okay, so what is that? You gotta remind me what that is. Because this, I played this, I played this, this got me through Thanksgiving, this got me through Black Friday, Mm -hmm. and uh, I had to rage quit uh, yesterday morning. So over the weekend, I had to rage quit. Sure. That's when I popped in Mario plus Rabbids. Yeah, yeah, that that game is a little bit easier for sure. But uh, they they basically have mixtapes you can pick up, and every mixtape unlocks a harder version of that world that you're in. So oh, you, that's you what can, that is. Yep, yep, yep. So you, uh, you can go back, I think, at any time on the world map and play the uh, the B side to that level. Um, did you find? Oh, did you find the game in the game? Did you oh, find I the, did. I did. Uh, yeah, the, on the, the, on, the game. on the little uh, Pico. You can actually yeah, beat yeah, that yeah. game too. You can beat that mini one. Yeah. I, well, actually, I thought when I got to it, I thought I, I played so much of that of the Pico one because I mm-hmm. thought I had to beat it to move on to the next level, and then I realized I didn't have to. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you can just back out any time. Yeah. Yeah, I'm like on world six or world five or six right okay. now. I think you're almost done. I'm 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 at a point that I can't figure out how to how to get past. Mm-hmm. Like I have no idea how to how to like what jump to make. I have no idea where to go. Oh yeah. Yeah. So, you know, I I, I literally spent an hour just on this one part and I have no idea what to do. So, mm-hmm. I, you know, and usually I, I figured it out. Like in a lot of places I got stuck, I just figured it out. But this place, mm-hmm. maybe I need to go back with fresh eyes, right? And try it. And then if I can't, if I can't beat it after that, then I'm just going to have to look up how to. Oh, how to yeah. Yeah, this, yeah. There's like thousands section. of tutorials online and whatnot for it. But I, I got to say, the game is fantastic. I can't wait for Limited Run to put out uh, an official release. I know, for right? It, right. And if they put out an, if they put out an official one for uh, Vita, I'm buying it. I would love to buy it. I would love to play this on the Vita too, but I see why it was nominated for Game of the Year. I still don't think it'll win at the Game Awards game for Game of the Year, but the game is fantastic on a Dave scale. Love it. I love the game. So, well, I think uh, I think I remember reading online that there was a uh, physical version in the works. Um, I, I see something here from like uh, June of of this uh, June of this year. Well. Well, we did say, well, I mean, yeah, listen, whenever, whenever there's a digital game, the first thing people think of is, is limited run. Well, we think of li- limited run putting out the physical, right? So if, if limited runs put out the physical, will they put it out? Because it came out on all platforms. I think you could buy it digitally on the, on the, on the Vita, if I'm not mistaken. But, you know, will they put out a Vita version? Will they put out a PS4 version? You know, will they put out a Switch version? Will they put out a Wii U version? I'll buy it on a Wii U. I'll buy it on a Wii U. Um, and will they, you know, matter of fact, will they do, and we talked about this, but the putting out Wii U games, will they do the same thing as the PS4 where you got to buy it? That's it. Or will they do it the same thing as a switch where you can pre-order it, which I think that's the way they should do all games, but that's just my humble opinion because it's disc based. They probably, it'd probably be the way, same way they do PS4, but I think that's a great thing that they're doing, uh, putting out on Wii U, putting games on a Wii U. I, I want the game. You know what? Now I, I talk myself into it. I want to buy this game on the Wii U. I want to buy Celeste on the Wii U. <laughs> I've talked myself into it. I'm sorry. I want to see this game on a Wii U. 
Uh, all right, why don't we take a break and when we come back? We'll get into the top 10 gaming news of last week. And we're back. All right, let's get into the top 10 gaming news of last week. So we talked about this. We said that, you know, they, there should be another Zelda game on the horizon, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, they made this engine for the Breath of the Wild, and there were reports saying that they wanted to get, you know, uh, two Zelda games out of this engine, right? They spent a lot of time, money mm-hmm. uh, to get this engine up and running. I was actually watching a Game Informer podcast uh, on uh, on YouTube where one of the editors pretty much alluded to, when they were talking about a new Zelda game, he pretty much alluded to, a new Zelda game could be coming sooner than you think. I'll talk to you guys, you know, off camera. Right. And this got everybody speculating, you know, new Zelda game. I mean, this guy's in the know, right? He's he's an editor in the industry. Sure. He works for Game Informer. Well, he's a Game Informer. Game Informer is a magazine, right? So they definitely need to know things ahead of time if they're going to, you know... Uh, you know, put it in a magazine. Mm-hmm. And they sign hefty NDA, so they can't really talk about it. The question is now: this, this is when all the speculation is going out. Are we going to get an, another open world Breath of the Wild style Zelda game? Are we going to get maybe a more linear dungeon crawler like uh, Twilight Princess? Mm-hmm. Or are we going to get a top down Zelda game? Remember, there were two Zelda teams: one that did the consoles Zelda games, and then there was another one, another team that did uh, the handheld top down Zelda games. That's right, the handheld, the, uh, the Link Between Worlds, and all that. Now you know Nintendo's in a weird spot because their handheld system is their console, right? Uh, I think it, if they made a, t- I think if they made a top down Zelda game for the 3DS, I think everyone would go bananas. They would go crazy. They would be bananas in a words. bananas in a good way or a bad way? Because no, 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 bad bananas. Of course, because <laughs> Breath of the Wild was like it smashed all expectations. It brought it back to its roots, and it was it was beautiful and open world and 3D and not top down. No, no, I don't care. No, listen. People are not going to care that it's top down because they already got Breath of the Wild. They're not going to get another Breath of the Wild so soon. But I think people would be crazy if they put out a game for the 3DS. <laughs> if they put out a 3DS, new Zelda 3DS game. If there was a new top down game like A Link Between Worlds, they want it on a Switch. That's what I'm trying to say. They want it on a Switch. I mean, people... yeah. I mean, you know, they're technically still trying to support the 3DS. But, I, you know, I think you're right. There's no reason not to put it on the Switch. You know, personally, for me, I would want another full blown um, <clears throat> Breath of the Wild style game. But I think you're right that it did just come out. You know, people are still playing it. It's still sixty dollars. You know, uh, is all that all that kind of DLC for it as well. You know, we need another year or two before we get another big open world Zelda. Yeah, so I think we could get a top down Zelda, mm-hmm. right? Maybe twenty into twenty nineteen if if Metroid Four is not ready, Metroid Prime, mm-hmm. Metroid Prime Four is not ready. Because uh, yeah, they need to come out next year. <laughs> something has to come out next year with Pokemon, right? Mm-hmm. With the Pokemon mainline game. As, as a side note, Pokemon Let's Go Eevee and Pikachu together fastest selling Switch games to date. Yeah, fastest selling Switch games. So that is insane. If together, if you put they're technically counted as separate, but if you add them together, fastest selling Switch games. That's bananas. Right, right. Good I mean, I bananas, guess, you know, by the way. Like in, like in the same way, like Pokemon Red and Blue, Pokemon uh, Gold and Silver and whatever, they always put out the two. But they're essentially the same game, just with different monsters in it, you know, essentially. Um, so I would love to see a top-down Zelda game on the Switch. Um, mm-hmm. Maybe, just, you know, lastly on this, maybe they do what they did with uh, Captain Toad, right? Maybe they put Captain Toad on the 3DS and the Switch. Mm-hmm. You know, maybe they put Zelda, the top down Zelda. Maybe they put it on the Switch and on the 3DS. And maybe the Switch version will come with more features. Uh, oh, that could be. That could be. Maybe they had more content or whatever else. You know, that's, you know, it's one way to do it. That's one right. Way to so do you it. can please both. You can please both parties. Maybe, well, maybe the 3DS, I just I just the 3DS version can have something different too, right? 
Sure. I mean, I, I just don't think they're going to be tapping the power of they're not going to be tapping at the power of the switch like the like they did with Breath of the Wild. You know, that's like that's like that's like my only thing. They're going to be leaving a little bit on the table. And that's but, fine. I, I care about the and, and Nintendo's fine with that. They care about the gameplay. Mm-hmm. Is the gameplay great? Mm-hmm. We haven't had a top down Zelda game in a while. So, you know, while they work on their what I would like to call and I've coined this the Majora's Mass Zelda of the Switch, right? Mm-hmm. We get a link between worlds. That's okay. Yeah. I'm okay with that. Yeah. Again, something has to come out next year. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> You're right. Uh all right, we got past all the Black Friday frenzy. Cyber Monday is upon us, mm-hmm. right? We'll see. You know, next week we'll talk about Cyber Monday pickups if we even get any. Um, interesting. Nintendo of Japan will be selling sixty-three amiibo in one package in Japan. So it seems to be all of the Smash Brothers from the original Smash Brothers mm-hmm. uh, for the Wii U. All of those amiibo we package up and sell in one pack, and they're only selling fifty of them on Amazon on J- in Japan. Yeah, you know this is going to go in like minutes, and they're just going to be they're just going to be on the reseller market. I don't think anyone is going to be opening these. Minutes. Everyone's going to be spinning these minutes, minutes, seconds. No, 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 I mean, no, no. Seconds. seconds. This is going to yeah. be gone in ten seconds. It's insane. You know but all the but it's only in Japan. Is, is it Japan only? It is, they... it is only. It is only in Japan. But the good news is the amiibos do work in the same way. You know they do, right? They do. I have a I have a couple of Japanese amiibos. I'll be honest, since I opened them, I don't know which one is which. Right, exactly. You can't tell the difference. You could tell on the packaging what the difference is. Um, I'm sure if you if you look at the bottom, if everything is in Japanese, maybe <laughs> maybe they have some yeah some copyright information or whatnot. So yeah, good luck with uh, getting these. Um, you know, but they haven't even they'll... they haven't listed a price yet either. Mm-hmm. Well, you got to think like retail price of these is thirteen dollars, right? Uh, if we do some quick math right here, uh, let me just pull up the calculator right here. Uh, I can tell you in just a sec what buying all of these individually uh, pre-tax would be. So you know, sixty-three and thirteen is eight hundred nineteen dollars pre-tax. So that means they're going to sell them for. Five ninety nine, <laughs> right? You, you'd figure like maybe five to six hundred dollars, which yeah, that's a lot of money. <laughs> which is why they're only going to sell fifty of them. Yeah, right, right. You know, you you, you kind of have to think twice about making that purchase, right? Especially for people like us who have most of them anyway. Pretty sure we have forty to fifty of the sixty some odd amiibos that have come out. Well, you know, I would. Well, I have a, I have a lot of amiibo. I would buy this, depending on the price, mm-hmm. and then whatever you know, if which I would take out the ones I don't have, and then the ones I do have, I would maybe just sell them as a package on eBay for for less. People would still buy it. Uh, I suppose so. Yeah, I, I would flip so. it. I would. Mm-hmm. I would. I would take out the ones I have. No, or maybe I would keep them. I don't know. Actually, you know what? I'm glad they didn't put me in this position and release it in America. <laughs> I don't know what I would do. I'll be honest. Right. I don't know. I would I, I would have that impulse buy. I'd be like, oh, I just got my bonus. I can spend six hundred dollars. That's not right. uh all right, let's get into our lead story. Mm-hmm. We did say this is award season. We have the game awards that's coming out December sixth, if I'm not mistaken. The day before. Yeah, December sixth. That's a Thursday. It's the day before Smash Brothers is released on December seventh. Um Looks like there's not, you know, there's another awards show that's in town. Jeff Keeley, you're not the only game in town, buddy. Oh, now uh-oh. we have the uh-oh. now he's got some competition. Just announced right before Thanksgiving, we got the Gamer Choice Awards from the, the people who the, brought the what now? The Gamer Choice Awards. Okay, from the people who brought you, uh, I think it's the Team Choice Awards, Kids Choice Awards, right? The Nickelodeon, Nickelodeon, Nickelodeon. Kids Choice Awards, yeah, 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 the yeah Team they Choice Awards, yeah. Yeah, yeah, they're bringing you the Gamer Choice Awards on CBS. They will air on CBS. Uh huh. Um, if we look at some of these categories, it's a little, sus- you know, I'm, I, I have no words. I, I, I am really speechless. I don't know what to say. This came out of nowhere. Industry insiders, like you know, people at IGN and and Roof to Teeth and and GameSpot said this came out of nowhere. They didn't even know about it. Uh. And they're not even involved. 
Mm-hmm. Uh, this is all, I guess, all fan votes. Like the game, like the game awards is the you, nom- you can definitely vote. You can definitely vote, and your vote counts, but it's mostly industry, in, like the like the Grammys, right? They have insiders who do tell you know who do the voting mm-hmm. on who wins certain awards. Same thing. This I think is all fan votes. This is why maybe industry insiders didn't know about this. This was came out of left field for them. Mm-hmm. Uh, some of the cat. I mean, this looks really more geared towards esports, right? It's all esports. A lot of stuff is mostly esports. I mean, they even split up your favorite female gamer streamer and female male gamer streamer. Um, I don't know any of these people other than Ninja. <laughs> um, Neither do I. Well, I I, I do know uh, Doctor Disrespect. Uh, oh yeah, yeah we Dr. talked about him. Yeah, he got yeah. into some hot water a uh, little little bit ago. Uh, you know how I guess a, a drive by almost you would call it. Um, you know had some problems with his family and this and that. But yeah, like a lot of these people we don't know. Um, I'm not really into esports. It's same, a thing. Same from you know? what I can tell. Um, you know if you if you like esports. You're not a fan of all of esports. You're a fan of that one particular game. Sure. Right? Yeah. Yeah. You like the Fortnite or the or the StarCraft or the whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody who's really into League of Legends is probably not watching a Fortnite stream. Right. Exactly. You have your lane, quote unquote. You know, and you you kind of you kind of stick to that. You're you're a fan of that genre. So to right. me, this is you know whoever has the most fans in that genre. <laughs> <laughs> right, it's not. It, it, yeah, kind of. Right, you're not going to be voting for anybody else but your guy. Right. If I had to vote, I would vote for Ninja because I know I, 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 he's. I've only watched it. I've never watched Doctor Disrespect stream. I know him, but I've never yeah. watched it. I've watched yeah. Ninja stream with Drake. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Not to mention, well, Ninja really only does Fortnite, from what I can tell. Doctor Disrespect does everything else. So maybe if he played a game that I was really interested in, I would, I would watch it. Mm-hmm. Um, just some of these categories are a little weird, right? I mean, they have. Well, you know what? Maybe you could pick fan favorite VR game since you you you're uh you're a big VR fan. Who do you think would win this category? Fan favorite VR game. Uh, let's take uh let's take a quick look at the uh the nominees that are here. Why? I just don't understand why. I don't, wow, they don't even have Tetris in here. This they don't have Tetris. I've only played... They don't have Astrobot. No, I've only played Beat Saber out of all these. I haven't played Moss. I never heard of Pixel Ripped. I don't know Brass Tactics. I don't know Sprint Vector. And Creed is uh, Creed is the, the boxing VR game, which I didn't but, even know existed either. No, no, that, that just that came out like a month ago or a month or two ago. Really? I, I've, seen it, I've seen it in um, GameStop. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. I just, I don't know. I have to go Beat Saber because the only game I played. <laughs> uh, it's weird that they they have fan favorite gaming device. Like they actually, they made it a thing. And and here's the, the only category that I really like is the most desired franchise resurrection. <laughs> that, 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 it, that at least kind of gets people talking, but like, how do you, how do you give a franchise an award? Right, a a dead franchise, more or less, an award. Well, it's more right? of the fans want to see a sequel to this game. Is it F Zero, Banjo Kazooie? Well, right, I know, Half-Life, I know. It's Star it's, Wars, Knights of the Old Republic, Earthbound, Chrono Trigger, you know, or Jet Set Radio. It's it's more like a it's more like a, a poll you would see on a website, on like IGN.com. And yeah, they not an award. Fan. It would just right, yeah, because how are they gonna like? Who are they gonna give an award to? They're not. Valve, you know? come on up. You've you've won. Half Life yeah. is the most desired franchise they want to see a sequel to. Come Can here, you... Gabe. <laughs> and then they'll just come up and go, you know, we're not making Half Life three. <laughs> and that'll be the a... end of it. Or, right? or, or you know, Phil Spencer, come on, come on out to the stage. Collect this uh, award for Banjo Kazooie. You have anything yeah. to say? Yeah, it's right. It's like uh, no comment. Nope. Like, Bat- Battle, right, Battle Toads. <laughs> Battle Toads is in the works, guys. Yeah, right. <laughs> Battle Toads is coming. Um, yeah, it's weird. It's it's yeah you know, it's 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 uh, very weird. So so what about like uh, what about what about fan favorite game? Fan favorite game, conspicuous by its absence. Mm-hmm. That's my Brooklyn Nets absence. <laughs> absence. 
is Red Dead Redemption 2. Why is it no this one? Red Dead game? Redemption 2, right? You have There's Overwatch. A... Wait, wait, let's just you have Overwatch, a game uh-huh. that didn't come out in 2018. No. You have League of Legends, a game, game, game which did, didn't come out in 2018. 2019. Uh Fortnite. A game which didn't game come out in 2018. <laughs> Um, and then, and then you have the games actually to come out in 2019. Uh, yeah. Marvel Spider Man, Assassin's sure. Creed Odyssey, sure. uh, Monster of the World, Black Ops sure. Four, Celeste, Dragon Ball Fighters, and God of War. Uh-huh. Um, if you look through most of these categories, real quick, just mm-hmm. as a side note, uh, you don't see Red Dead Redemption Two anywhere no. until you get to uh, categories like fan favorite fall release. Uh huh, which is weird. A little weird. Warframe, which is that it's a game that that's a free to play game that came out already. Um, Mm -hmm. it just got released for the Switch. Uh, but okay, Fallout 76. I don't (laughs) understand a world where this game would win anything. Metacritic score 46 right now. Um, as of right now, officially, right? It better not win. Um, Battlefield 5 Mm -hmm. and Red Dead Redemption 2. Other Mm -hmm. than that. The other mention of Red Dead Redemption Two is fan favorite gaming moment, and 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 this is this is this is great because it's not even a gaming moment. It is the total number of sales for Rockstar Games. They had the biggest opening weekend of any entertainment property ever. It was like it was like, oh, okay, how is that a gaming experience? How is that a gaming moment? It's it's more at sales figures. Fans don't care about sales figures. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Favorite fan favorite single player gaming experience is a category listed here, and God of uh, uh, and and Red Dead Redemption Two, which is primarily at the moment only a single player gaming experience, not on this list. You know what? And looking at the going back real real quick to fan favorite gaming moment, uh-huh. the only thing I can see winning this, which is a gaming moment, yeah, right. Is the sixteen-year-old kid who became the Tetris World Champion? That was right? that, that was a that, great moment. That was a that great was a moment. We great talked about moment. it a couple, a couple episodes ago. Yeah, I can see that winning. Not Red Dead Redemption Two biggest opening weekend entertainment property no. ever. How was that no. a gaming moment? That's that doesn't make any sense. But okay, all right, no fine, no problem. Um, I'm they have all the weirdest categories. I mean, they, they, you get to pick your favorite console. You get to pick your favorite streaming service. You get to pick your favorite gaming convention. I'm surprised they didn't put on here your favorite video game award show. Is it us? <laughs> Is it the Gamer's Is it Choice Game Awards? Awards? Is it CDC? Oh, the GDC? I know. I know. Uh, all, of this it, is, all of this is ridiculous. I don't even know. It, it, it feels very... It feels like someone's pulling the strings behind this thing. Right? Oh, wait, wait, wait. It gets better. One more. We got to go over one more. Sure. Your f- most anticipated game. Okay. Now, I okay. I understand the Last of Us Two Part Two, mm-hmm. right? Well, it's the Last of Us Part Two, not Two, but whatever. They got that wrong. Mm-hmm. Um, we don't know when that's coming out. That I mean, okay, we could, could be. It could come out next year. Well, speculate. You know, okay. Kingdom Hearts Three that's coming out in 29th. We talked about that cyberpunk 2077. Don't know when that's coming out. Death Stranding. Don't know when that's coming out, mm-hmm. but all games that people anticipate, I give you, I give them that who's anticipating the division two. Yeah. I just want to know. I just, it was a world where people are anticipating division two elder scrolls six. That's not for a long time. Uh, yeah. I don't think it's, I don't think it's coming out next year at all. Who's anticipating day is gone. I just got delayed uh, again. Yeah. Okay. Anthem, you know, Iron Man, you know, Iron Man and Destiny meet. Titanfall, to make sure. Anthem, you know, mm-hmm. Titanfall, Iron Man meets Destiny. So that's Anthem. Okay. Sekiro Shadows Dice Twice. Okay. All right. You know, that looks pretty good. All right. That could be on here. Mm-hmm. But this is where they lose me. This is where they, they lost me. And I don't know who, who came up with the nominees. Um, who's anticipating Rage 2? I just want to know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, at least it's an established property, but yeah, I mean, I, the first one did not do well, and everyone's everyone's super cautious about number two. So yeah, weird, weird. And as you know, and as a side note, um, just from a website design standpoint, uh, if you go into the 2018 Gamers Choice Awards, uh, GamersChoice.tv, 
Mm-hmm. Uh, the logo Gamers Choice Awards uh, is blocking the nominees for fan favorite fighting game. So I have yeah. no idea what was the last game nominated here. That is that is some that is some that is some poor coding right there. That is a simple fix too. Let me tell you. Um, so, yeah, I knew the, you um, would. I knew you would. I knew you would. Uh, take some pride in that. <laughs> the last game in the list. Uh, I looked it up. It's apparently the guys who made the Street Fighter 3D uh, fighting games, the EX games as they were known here. EX one, two, and three, made by Akira. Uh, because some of the some of the uh, the characters from those games that were original creations uh, made it into this new game. So this like fighting EX game or whatever. Uh, which looks okay, you know. It came it came out a couple of years ago too, which is kind of funny, at least from some of the videos. Um, so that's that's kind of weird. When you go up against Street Fighter and Soul Calibur, right, and even like Dragon Ball Fighters, which is a very competent fighting game, like, nah, I ain't gonna win. <laughs> maybe maybe it's maybe it's good that it's covered. Maybe well, remember, industry insiders are not voting. This is I think this is all fan votes. Completely mm-hmm. banned votes. Mm-hmm. So if you're into that type of thing, if you're into in- esports, I mean, I watched the. They had a whole hour presentation on CBS. Mm-hmm. It was just a giant ad for esports. Um, you know, check out the Gamer Choice Awards. So, yeah, yeah. There you go. All right. So let's move. <laughs> let's, let's move on. Talking about fighting games. Maybe this game could be on the list next year. At some point. Mm-hmm. So there's rumors. Well, we we heard rumblings about a Mortal Kombat 11. Yeah. Right? But it looks like a voice actor sort of indirectly or accidentally sort of leaked, uh, you know, Mortal Kombat 11. Mm-hmm. It's actually is actually a real thing officially coming out. Uh, he voiced uh, in... I think he, he did the voice... He did the voice acting for South America release mm-hmm. for uh, Kung Lao and Reptile. Right. And apparently he says uh, that, you know, he's not going to be a character and he's not going to be voice acting in Mortal Kombat 11. He specifically says Mortal Kombat 11. OK, he says hashtag Mortal Kombat 11. He's not mm-hmm. he's not going to be doing any voice acting on that. Speculating maybe Kung Lao and Reptile will not be in the game because that's the, the people that he voiced. And right. then later he tried to backtrack and said, you know, it could be for MK11 or 10.5 or XYZ or whatever. Mm hmm. Yeah, uh, I mean it's it's about time for a new one. Yeah, you well, know, we got Mortal Kombat XL, right? That 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 we got Mortal Kombat Ten. We got, we or got X, and then we got XL X came out XL. with all the DLC, right? Which was like two years ago. You know, yeah, it's 2016 by then. We got Injustice Two after that, which is the same company, and we got a couple crossover characters. I think well, Mortal Scorpion. Kombat Ten came out in 2015. So, 20, 2015 and then XL was 2016, I think. Yes, that was uh, the, all the DLC you know, characters. That, yeah, that was just all the all the stuff in there. We got some crossovers. Uh, we had um, we had I think Scorpion as a DLC in Injustice Two, right? Uh, same engine and all that, right? So it's easy to do that with those with those uh, characters. It's about time for Mortal Kombat 11. You know, uh, I'm definitely I'm definitely hyped that this is true. You know. I don't see why they wouldn't. I think I think X did well, right? Or ten. X is gonna give it to you. X they gave gonna, it to X, us. X definitely gave it to us. Um, solid game, you know. Big uh, Mortal Kombat fan. I loved Mortal Kombat growing up. I was a bigger Mortal Kombat fan than it was Street Fighter. Mm-hmm. Only because oh, you love those fatalities. Well, only because in the arcade, I can never get in. I can never actually get into play Street Fighter because it was always oh. hogged by the big kids, the high mm-hmm. school kids. Mm-hmm. So uh, I would go home and I had Mortal Kombat 2 for Genesis. Yeah. And that's a game I've never beaten. Mm-hmm. Uh, Mortal Kombat 2 on Genesis, I should say. I've never beaten. Sure. Uh, because I played on hard and I, I made it to the, I made it to Shao Kahn and couldn't beat him for my life. I mm-hmm. lost like a thousand times and rage quit. <laughs> I couldn't yeah, beat it's him. Tough. It's it tough. tough. It is tough. It is tough. But I welcome... See, I welcome a Mortal Kombat 11. I can't wait for it to come out. Uh, mm-hmm. Hopefully sooner, better. Do you think, okay, as a side note, do you think they would put it out next year, sort of at the end of the life cycle of PS4 and Xbox One, or would they hold it for another year, year and a half, two years maybe, to make it a launch game on the new platform? I think I think what they're, I think what they're probably going to do is they're probably going to announce it 
for the current gen consoles, right? Uh, maybe at E3, maybe at the Game Awards uh, this year. Hey, Mortal Kombat 11 is coming. Uh, maybe at maybe at a Penny Arcade. Who knows? Uh, but if they put it out this generation, you can guarantee there'll be an enhanced edition for next generation if they end up doing that. And then they get to kind of double dip, right? Because yeah. if, if, they've, if they've been working on it, then they're working on it with the current hardware, right? They don't necessarily have the new dev kits for the new systems yet because uh, it's just not ready, you know? Um, so I would say that if they're not working on it yet and they, and they just kind of announce it and then they start working on it, then maybe it's going to be next gen in that case. Cause it'd, it'd be, you know, it'd be enough ramp up time to where they could build it for the new system. Okay. Makes sense. I, I, if I, if I was them, I mean, look, okay. From a money you standpoint, would just, you would just hold, you would, you would just hold off from money standpoint. I would put it out on this system and then put the XL version, right? Sure. On, uh, you know, with all the DLC characters, put that out on PS5 and Xbox mm-hmm. Prime. Uh, but ideally, I would rather them just hold it, make it a launch title. Give me some, because right. oh, you know, that I would be pl- awesome. Mortal Kombat launch title. Ooh, I would rather, you know, because I love playing Mortal Kombat. I love playing mm-hmm. fighting games on a DualShock, right? right. So I, I want to play it on my PS, on my PlayStation platform. So I would, I would buy it on my PS5. It would give me something to play on the PS5. Mm-hmm. You know, other than Knack Four, you know, or other than well, wait, 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 you just you just skip right over Knack Three and go right to Knack Four. I'm sure you know. Make Knack Three. Uh, Knack Three. Knack Three. Yeah, make Knack Three. Uh, uh, <laughs> make Knack Three a mobile game. And oh Knack my God. Four Straight to PS Five. Get out of here. <laughs> you know they're gonna make a Knack. You know they're gonna make a sequel to Knack. I think they have to. Yeah, I think they have to. It it uh, it, it it has so much. <laughs> It, it it captured me. I'm still playing it. I'm powering through it. Every right? every once once a month, I go back right? to it. It's not a bad game. It. It's all thanks to Dunky. Dunky Dunky goes and puts out the video for Knack Two, and the internet kind of blows up over it. So it's it's become a thing now. Uh, well, something that we know is not coming to next gen PS5 mm-hmm. and Xbox Prime is Telltale Games. Mm-hmm. We won't be having any Telltale Games in, a, in those. In uh, the ne- the next generation, generation yeah, yeah. Eight, I mean, we, I believe, uh, right? It's generation yeah, eight. Yeah, I mean, we talked about them closing their doors. You know, they've they basically they're on a skeleton crew, if 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 kind of anything, and then that's it. You know, the company that's it. Done. But Skybound, mm-hmm. uh, you know, the the owner of Skybound was a creator of the Walking Dead series. Mm-hmm. He, you know, was taken over, and they're going to pretty much develop the last season of the Walking Dead season four. Which is, uh, you know, something I've been looking forward to. Uh, if you brought, they finally they 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 pretty much announced that they finally passed all the red tape. They got all the paperwork done, and now they can actually start development on it, right? Because they had to get through licensing and everything. Right, so, sure. Because Telltale had the had the licensing before that and all that. Um, so they have to they have to get you know, Kirkman and all those guys and AMC and this and that and sign off on the, on the, on the name and the, and the, and the, and the, uh, the rights and the whatever. So you basically you're starting back at zero almost, but they did, they did a good thing. They actually hired a bunch of, uh, ex telltale employees to come in mm-hmm. who worked on the game to, to continue and finish the game. Now the game was supposed to be, uh, four, four different episodes. Mm-hmm four different parts they only released the first one which i don't even think you can buy anymore they, they've taken that down off uh, all the e-shops oh. uh if you brought the season pass you won't have to buy season pass again when it actually does release mm-hmm. and i'm looking forward to it hopefully they'll put out a physical edition yeah so you're just you're, you still haven't even played you haven't played episode one yet you're waiting for all of them to drop i i, I usually always wait for all of them to drop or mm. if the physical release or if they have a physical release, like in the middle of it, mm-hmm. I'll buy the physical release, So, which is sort of the season's pass, right? Where I get all the drops. So I'll just do, if episode one and two are, or are out already by the time the physical release happens, I'll play those, and then I'll mm-hmm. wait for three and four. Uh, three, four, and five. There's usually five episodes. Mm-hmm. So um, I didn't buy their physical release because... Why would I do that when it may not come out? <laughs> yeah, right. He's like, I don't want to be left on a cliffhanger. <laughs> so, uh, well, it was, it was. I think it was slated to come out in November, right? Around this time, right? I have to and then... ch- but obviously, that that's not happening. Yeah. So, 
Uh, all right, let's talk about Square Enix. Mm -hmm. So just as a side note, if you go to squareenix.com, they actually do. And we did this. We told I told everyone this last year. You can still buy brand new PS1 games. That's <laughs> I right. Brought, I wrote a bunch of Final Fantasy games brand new yep. for PS1 last yes, year. Yes, you did. Um, were like and, super cheap too. And they were super cheap. They were like 60, 80% off. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you could buy Final Fantasy, I think, eight for like three bucks. Yeah. Brand brand new. Yeah. Um, I bought I bought some games. I'm not going to lie. I bought some games, which I will share when I actually get them. And mm -hmm. they'll be in my pickups. And I'll say mm -hmm. I got them. These are Square Enix games I got from SquareEnix.com on Black Friday. But another game, uh, a game that's actually official and done mm -hmm. and ready to ship. It's gone gold. Some people still can't believe it. It's Kingdom Hearts 3. It's done. They've there announced they're officially officially done with kingdom mm -hmm. hearts 3 it is gold mm -hmm. and it's on its way for january 29th 29th night uh, 29th night january 29th 2019 release said that 10 times fast <laughs> i'm gonna pass but that's great that's good to hear it's a long time coming you know fans have been clamoring for this for a while uh and it's it's basically here you know it's right around the corner uh, well i have well, I bought oh. the Kingdom Hearts uh, collection so <laughs> far, right? The story so far, which is which is basically just uh, 1.5, 2.5, and 2.8. So it's all of the compilations together in a compilation. <laughs> but that's all it is. And I guess, I guess you didn't necessarily have the other ones yet, or you were missing some of them. So it's a good buy in that case. Like, it's something I should probably pick up, too, because... I don't have any of the compilations that came out beforehand, so I'm I'm I kind of want to play. I, I want to get into. It. I want to. Do you think I should just start with King of Hearts three? <laughs> or do you think I should? Or do you think I should? Uh... I mean, I wouldn't say not to play the other games, and I think you would enjoy them. Um, you know, you'll enjoy them a lot more if you know the Final Fantasy world and the Disney world. Uh, but I mean, they're still really enjoyable on on their own. Uh, I know you love your story and you love you love kind of getting into all those bits and you know like like story's a big thing for you. After the first game, the story gets so convoluted. It gets it gets real weird. So you you may just you may just want to play one and two, play the the you know the mainline one and two and then leave all the other stuff out. Uh cuz that's going to that's going to take you a little while to get through and by that time then Kingdom Hearts 3 will probably be here. You know, well, I'm going to buy. I'm going to continue my tradition of buying. Uh, I bought Monster Hunter Worlds mm -hmm. on Xbox because it was the first Monster Hunter game ever released on an Xbox mm -hmm. platform. I will be buying Kingdom Hearts three on Xbox because it is the only Kingdom Hearts game ever released on an Xbox platform. Yeah, so I'll yeah. be doing that. And speaking of another game that I was mm -hmm. actually going to buy on the Xbox, but decided not to, is Fallout seventy six. Mm. I was thinking about it. I was thinking about it. it. Got actually got a price reduction, right? It went from sixty dollars to forty dollars. You, you were saying, you were saying, like, mark my words, it's going to go on sale like real quick. I'm like, nah, it's going to be a few months before it goes on sale or something. It's already on sale. It just came out. It was like a week later. It's on sale for twenty bucks less because it's getting killed. Okay, right? like Metacritic score, like I said, forty six as of this recording. Um, nothing, not a lot to do in the world. It's very buggy. If you can actually get online, get on a server, right? Because right? people get kicked off. Yeah, I mean, um, there, 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 are, there are no NPCs. It is not like a traditional Fallout game. So, well, there are no human. Uh, there are no human NPCs. I should say. The, well, there are there are like monsters. They're like little creatures and stuff. Well, there's monsters. there's like things you have to kill. Yeah. 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 I mean, you um, know, there's. There's there's some things to do, but it's really about getting in a group and and kind of going out there, you know. So the but, story's a little thin. All right, and some people are up up in arms and and really hate the game. Some people hate the game so much oh. that they one guy one guy hates the game so much he tried to return it for his full full re, full refund at GameStop. Yeah, they, this this was uh this was ridiculous. This guy blew up he blew up in the store, which then blew up over the internet. Well he trashed the store when he couldn't get he couldn't get a refund. I mean right. if he would have waited a week he would have only paid forty dollars. I know, um, right? 
Yeah, you know, if he, if he, he ended was up so reading bad. About the, if you ended up reading about the beta and everyone complaining about how bad it is, maybe you would have waited till uh, you know the reviews came out. But uh, some guy was filming him. He was so so this this whole altercation between this guy and the store clerk uh, was going on for a little bit because somebody was sitting there with their camera filming this right because he was guy was getting a little bit heated. And, and then the he store... calmed down, though, but he calmed down for a second. Well, he, he did. He did. And, you know, the store clerk was trying to explain to him very, very calmly that, look, this is our this is our policy. Once the game is open, we can't give you money back. We can give you store credit, which is not even something they typically do anyway. But they're like, look, we'll give you we'll give you a store credit for something else. You can do that. But that's it. You know, that's part of our policy. And then he just kind of shakes his head and he walks a little bit. To, he walks a little bit off camera to the right and then he just starts knocking down standees right and knocking down shelves and just just one after the other game shelf and accessory shelf and and display case right he knocks over the little thing by the door boom as like someone else is walking in he's like walking out just like fuck this shit like like literally insane but does this should be nice enough to Give him back his money. <laughs> I don't think he. I don't think he deserves it after that blow up. Just give him back his money. People are so pissed off at that game. That People are pissed off at that game. I'm sorry. I'll tell you this. I'll tell you this. I forget. I I forget the uh, store clerk's name. But at the end, at the end of the video, like after the guy like walks out and knocks everything over, the phone rings. The guy picks up the phone. He goes. Hi, welcome to GameStop. This is so and so. How can I help you? Like a champ, without missing a beat. He, he was very calm. Incredible. Oh yeah, he's, he's just like calm. he's just like all right, whatever, you know. It sucks for the guy who has to clean all that up. <laughs> it does, right? <laughs> the intern, the lowest guy in the totem pole, is going to have. But to on clean the, it up. okay, all right, I, I know, I know, we're making fun of it, but on a serious note, that mm-hmm. could have that could have been so much worse. Sure, that could have went that could have went, that could have went uh, left very quickly. Sure. Um, so just, I'll, I'll, just, well, that's just. Let's just be thankful. All he did was make a mess. Right. I'll tell you. Uh, 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 I'll tell you a, a quick little story from my uh, from my uh, electronics boutique days before GameStop bought him out way back when. And this was. Uh, I think this was right after Christmas, right? Mm-hmm. You know, everybody gets the games they don't want, and they try and return them and whatnot. And uh, electronics boutique had a pretty good store policy, right? Uh, technically, I think even if you didn't have a receipt, you were able to. Uh, swap the game out for another one or something like that, right? And uh, some guy, some guy came back with uh, Turok Two, I believe, for N sixty four, right? And we were like, we were busy, we were, we were like packed trying to help people, right? And there was like three of us behind the counter, all three registers were going right, and my boss was next to me to the left, and some guy, some guy, some guy comes in, he goes, he goes, yo, hey, 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 yo, yo. Can I return this? I want to return this. Like he gets up to like the front of the line. He like cuts everybody off and, and he's like, Hey, Hey, I want to, I want to, I want to return this. Can I return this game? I don't, I don't, I don't have the system or whatever. And, and, and my boss is like, my boss is like, no, I'm sorry. You can't do that. Like, you don't, you don't even have a receipt. Like, you know, where's your receipt? He's going back and forth. And then my boss, my boss is on a call at the time. Right. So like, I see how this is going and the guy's getting heated and the guy's getting, the guy's getting, es- you guys escalating the situation more and more and more and more and more. So I see what it is. So I step in, I say, I say, sir, this is my boss. Who is, who, who is the guy who is, who is the guy you want to be nice to, who is going to try and help you said no. So like, so here's what's, here's what's going to happen. You're going to take that game. You're going to turn around and you're going to walk out of the store because we're not going to help you. That's right. If you continue, if you continue down this road, we will call the cops and we will get you escorted out of the store. Because this guy was ready to jump over the counter and punch my boss in the face for no good reason. Right. So I so I stepped in. I said, I said, I said, look, here, here's how this is going to go down. And he gets angry and he looks at me and I'm like, what, 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 what are you going to do? Right. Either way, it's going to be bad for you. Right. And he ends up turning around, and I'm I'm pretty sure he went to Babbage's or 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 like GameStop down the way and tried to return it there. But yeah, that's ridiculous. Look at it's, you! It's Look at you doing. standing up being brave. You're yeah, a G. You know, you know, you're a G. Look at that. You're like, <laughs> no, it's my boss. Get <laughs> yeah. out of here. 
<laughs> Get out of here. It's my so, boss. Yeah, sometimes you got to do what's right, you know? I'm like, look, dude, this is not the venue, right? You know, if it, if it wasn't that busy, you know, there's only a couple people in the store. It wasn't the holiday season. Maybe it would have been would have went down a little differently and whatnot. But we don't have any time for this guy. You got to get out of here. Well, back uh -oh. in Circuit, back in Circuit City, um, when I was, you know, when I had left, I had left the one in Manhattan and went to mm -hmm. the Long, Long Island one, you know, where I'm, tra I'm training to be, a, uh, you know, manager. A department manager. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, the guy comes in. He had brought like a Dell. I think it was Dell. It could have been selling. I don't remember. Mm -hmm. A Vio or a Dell laptop. laptop. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he came in. And he he stood in in the middle, like in the front entrance. When we had like a we had like a big Circuit City logo right there in the front entrance. He stood there. Oh yeah. Screamed to the top of his lungs how much he hated his laptop. It, it was it was trash. Mm -hmm. And we're and we're like, and we didn't know what. At first we were caught off guard. We didn't know what the hell was wrong with this guy. We didn't know. If he, he, and he had a trench coat on too. I'm like, well, you know, it was cold outside. He had like yeah, a, yeah. a long coat. I don't know if it was trench coat, okay. but he had a long coat on. Mm -hmm. We don't know what he's about to do. Right. And he pulls out the laptop. Oh boy. And smashes it on the floor. Jeez. Why? And I, and I came over there. I was like, um, sir, you know if you'd have just came to customer service, we would have took care of you. He was like, Well, mm -hmm. I called and they said there's nothing they could do. I'm like, then okay, then why even just come here? Why I don't understand. Like if you just came to customer service over there, we would have took a look at it, and if it was defective, we would try to fix it for you, give you a new mm -hmm. one. Mm-hmm. And then he, he tries to say, all right, well, can we bring this over there? I was like, well, no, you just broke it. Mm -hmm. Physically damaged. You just broke it. It's right? Physically damaged. Yeah. Did you get the protection policy? Obviously not. <laughs> um, I, I forgot what I, I helped him out just because mm -hmm. I didn't want to make another scene and I didn't want sure. to call the cops. Yeah, yeah, I, I yeah. Did. Trying, to, trying to defuse the situation, I guess. is. I think I had, I think I had like, uh, our... our our version of Geek Squad. I forgot it was Fire Dog. Fire Dog, that's right. Yeah, Fire, Dog. Fire Dog, which makes no sense. I understand Geek Squad. Where's Fire Dog coming from? I play? don't. I don't understand. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think, I think they took a look at it. Yeah, you know, I mean, he didn't really. I mean, thank God his screen wasn't cracked. And, right. You know, we we helped him out a little bit. Oh, you did. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, as much as I could, I don't remember. I mean, this was years ago. I don't remember mm. exactly what I did, but I, mm. I just remember this guy screaming to the top of his lungs how much he hated the product. Yeah, right. Like, like, how bad could it be? Okay, what is is there a lot of bloatware on there? Is is the is the is the screen cracked? Does it not turn on? Like, whatever it is, we'll help you out. Right, we're here to help. Call the right? cops on this guy. Oh my god! I was like, no, no, no let me just take care yeah. of it. I don't want to call the cops. Yeah, yeah. I didn't want us to have a bad reputation. There you go. There you go. Uh, speaking of bad reputations, mm -hmm. Cliff Blazinski, Cliffy B. Cliffy B, mm -hmm. this guy, mm -hmm. famous made, game developer, famous. You know, he worked on Gears of War one, two, three for the mm -hmm. 360. He worked Unreal, on Bullet Unreal Tournament, Bulletstorm, yeah. Bulletstorm, uh, Shadow Complex, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Great, and most game. and most infamously, most recently and infamously, Lawbreakers. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, so pretty much said he will never make another video game again. He's out of the industry. Mm hmm. Um, I think this is a huge loss. I don't think he's someone that should have been on his own. He needed to work under sort of like the guidance of uh, uh, of someone, like a team. Like if yeah. he had the backing of a Microsoft or a Sony or something like mm -hmm. that. Lawbreakers mm -hmm. was was terrible. Uh, I have Law the physical was... edition. Yeah. I have the physical edition, and I played it. And you know, I'm not really into multiplayer games, but I did mm -hmm. give it a shot. I think. I mean, I played more Warframe than anything. Nice. <laughs> Right. Right. Lawbreakers was just terrible. It was no one there. Mm -hmm. There's no one in. It was no one. I played it sort of maybe a couple of months after it first came out. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. I take that back. I played it. I think at this point it was out for like almost a year when I right. got the physical release from Limited right. Run Games. Mm -hmm. It was it was literally no one there. Right. You know when I'm beating people? <laughs> There's a problem. There's a problem. <laughs> There's a problem. Yeah. I mean, this was, this was under the free-to-play model, right? So... I, I believe Lawbreakers, you could just download and play. If you want the physical, obviously, you know, you got to pay for the materials and all that, get the disc and all that. Um, but it was it was uh, free to play. And then his, his next game, which basically just got canceled, uh, Radical Heights. Oh, which, yeah, that's right. 
which was uh, similar. Uh, similar. It was a, another first-person or third-person shooter, I should say. Uh, it had the graphics of Fortnite, basically. It was all colorful and whatnot. You'd buy guns from vending machines, and you'd have to go kill people, like, uh, you know, free-for-all style, right? And yeah. it, it certainly looked cool, and it was kind of, you know, shaping up to be kind of neat, and that wasn't really doing well, so that got canceled, and... His studio folded, Boss Key Games, you know, which he which he did Lawbreakers and Radical Heights under. Um, he did, and, and, and again, people were heckling him sort of on, on, on Twitter, mm-hmm. and he pretty much said, listen, you know, I paid for my employees, mm-hmm. you know. Uh, I, well, he paid his employees. He, uh, he also did something that Telltale Games didn't do, which was pay their 401ks, pay their health care plans. So, you know, they had health care. And they were taken care of after yeah. for months after the studio folded, and yeah, he didn't he, pay he didn't pay himself a salary for two years. Right, he did he did he did the right thing, you know he didn't have to do that, but you know he kind of stepped up and said, hey, you know what, I'm gonna I'm gonna do a good thing and, and and help out all my employees, you know, you know I never meant for the company to go this way. I always wanted the games to be successful, obviously, but um, and now he's just like, well, you know these people are out of jobs and whatnot, so I'm gonna go ahead and help them out, you know. So good on him for that. All right. I wish Cliffy be the best and whatever he does. And I hope he can come back to, uh, you know, hopefully everything can calm down. Time will heal all wounds and maybe he can come back and he can work on maybe another Gears of War game. Right. Because hey. they're working on a trilogy. The coalition is working on a trilogy. Right. Yeah, right. We got Gears 5, not even Gears of War anymore. So maybe mm-hmm. he can come back and work, help on Gears 6. Right. You never That'd know. That'd be awesome. That'd be awesome. All right. Let's move on. Uh, did you know the NPD group sort of compiled a list of the top uh, the top 10 best-selling video game exclusives in the U.S. Uh, between January of 1995 and September of 2018? Mm-hmm. I, I did. I did. I did see this list. Very, very surprising, the, the games in this list. All Nintendo games. All so Nintendo last, games. And... Well, the last, well, the last 23 years. Mm-hmm. Between Sega, Microsoft, Sony, and Nintendo, mm-hmm. top ten best selling exclusives have all been Nintendo games. Right, <laughs> and seventy percent of them, seven out of the ten games on this list are Wii games. That is wild. Well, Wii is the best. Well, I guess the, it sold the most consoles, most units of all time. Yep. Right? When everybody, right, everybody had one, and their grandma. It, it was, was either it's either the Wii or the PS2. I know the one and two. So mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. we, so we fits number one. Mm-hmm. Uh, that was surprising, right? We fit. I, I would have thought that, uh, you know, that we fit. We fit. I thought the we sports games would have been number one. Not well, we it's fit. it's 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 interesting. They may have not actually. We sports, I believe, is the top selling game of all time. They may have omitted it because it was a pack in with the system. Okay, that right? makes sense. So every time you every time you bought a Wii, you got a copy of Wii Sports. So. We Fit was a separate purchase, um, right? Uh, the disc. I don't know if it uh, specifically came with the balance board or not. I think the balance board was separate. Um, that was, yeah, it was like separate. Would, the balance yeah, board yeah. was separate. Yeah, so you would have had to buy We Fit outside of the uh, outside of the console. So they can't be counting Wii Sports. Okay, and then we got We Play. That's number mm-hmm. two. Uh, very underrated game in the series Mario Kart Wii. Number yeah, three. wasn't wasn't a big fan of this one. I'm um, shocked that it's number three on the list, right? Uh, we fit plus number four. Mm-hmm. Don't know what the difference is. Uh, I think it's just got more. <clears throat> I'm pretty features. sure it's got more exercises and maybe maybe better tracking. Gotcha. Uh, New Super Mario Brothers Wii, mm-hmm. which makes sense because that was the the you know that was nintendo's return to the sort of like the 2d mario right well the, mm-hmm. the side scrolling mario i should right. say and 3d model uh new super mario brothers for ds mm-hmm. i'm not gonna lie when that first came out uh i was speaking of working at circuit city <laughs> when that came out i bought i bought a, a ds to play new super mario brothers nice oh, uh, nice. mario mario kart ds Came out for the DS number seven, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Super Mario sixty four, for the N sixty four number eight, mm-hmm. uh, Super Smash Brothers Brawl for the Wii, and to round right. it all up is Wii Sports Resort for the Wii. All right. Now this one, this one did not come packed with it. it. It's an enhanced version of 
Wii Sports, I think, with extra um, little mini games and whatnot. But yeah, that's that's so wild that all of these like like GTA Five not on the list. Uh, any any Madden or Call of Duty games not on the list. <laughs> Insane. Insane. Yeah, you yeah you would think a Rockstar game. Well, right? no, no, well, actually, no, no, no. Remember, this is exclusives. Oh, all of those the multi platform. True, true, all true, true. Platform. Right, right. That's a good. That's a good point. So I guess you know you can, you can actually you can actually cross those right off the list. But <laughs> yeah, it's you know it's it's like still wild. Okay, so like, you know like take a look at like God of War. Take a look. Halo. At, uh, you know, take a right? look at Halo. Sure, Halo is exclusive to, uh, to to Xbox, right? And this is uh, and the list is from the end of September 2018. So all the Sony exclusives like Crash Bandicoot at right? the time, right for PlayStation One, right? Yeah. That on the list. Yeah. Um. Wow. Well, you know what? I mean, the, there's over 100 million Wii's out there, and I'm not going to lie. Uh, there are Wii's everywhere. I mean, I was dating this girl, <laughs> oh, uh, oh, you know, last year, and she had a Wii under her TV. Yeah, That's crazy. Like, that a Wii U, a Wii, an original Wii. Yeah, right. And I was like, do you use it? And she was like, no, not really. I mean, sometimes, maybe. I was like. Is it sometimes maybe or not? Not really. Which one is it? I mean, it was still still right next to her cable box. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, all right, let's end with Billy Mitchell. Mm-hmm. Okay. Billy. Controversial Billy Mitchell. All right. Uh, Given <laughs> controversial, he was he was the supreme leader mm-hmm. of Donkey Kong. He had the highest score. Mm-hmm. Uh. And then I think Twin Galaxies found out that maybe, you know, his high score that he did on the machine wasn't an original arcade machine, right? Yeah, the the the, the allegation he was playing on a MAME hardware, right, which is uh, emulation of popular arcade games and whatnot. Um, and then, you know, people went and broke down the video and analyzed things and whatnot and, and found that uh, the game was slightly different, right? You know, and then everyone kind of accused him, and basically Twin Galaxies took down the uh, the high scores, right? But somebody beat his high score anyway, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, the current mm-hmm. high score, the per- the current person has a high score is Robbie Lakeman, right? Mm-hmm. He sits at one million two forty seven seven hundred high score. He did back in February, right? Which is which is I have to tell you that is that is an epic score right there, right? Um, my my cousin plays competitively, right? He's on the uh, he's on the uh, leaderboards, the I guess the unofficial leaderboards and whatnot. Uh, he's somewhere in the two hundreds or whatnot. He gets he gets on a good game, he'll get upwards of two hundred and fifty thousand points, a quarter of a million points, which is a feat in and of its own, right? These guys are pushing upwards of a million, and they're they're breaking that million barrier, right? That's insane. That's insane. They play a perfect game, they get to the kill screen. And they break a million points. Insane. Well, apparently, he has been streaming on Twitch, mm-hmm. and he pretty much, uh, he pretty much got his high the, the scores that they said that they were in a main uh, arcade cabinet. Mm-hmm. He live streamed and got that same score, which was I think a million fifty one hundred. Right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. He duplicated his highest his highest score from before. <laughs> so I mean, you know, that's impressive. I yeah. mean, you know, emulation or not, he's really good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's insane. He's insane. Like, like, uh, you know, he's he's just a jerk, apparently. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. I mean, you know, if you watch the movie The King of Kong, uh, which is a very good documentary about uh, going for the top score in Donkey Kong, um, it kind of. It kind of goes through the whole story of him and uh, uh, the other guy. I forget his name. It escapes me. But they kind of go back and forth over it. And, yeah, Billy's a little bit of a jerk. Sure. Sure. So, uh, but you know what? He's re- doesn't matter if he's a jerk or not. He's really good. Yeah. Yeah. He's, 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 better, than, he's better than Donkey Kong than I am. I'll tell you that right now. Well, I mean, that's not very difficult. <laughs> Well, let's see him beat me in Mortal Kombat, baby. Mortal uh-huh. Kombat XL. I'm going to give it to you. All right. All right. All right. You know, block we'll do a trade off. Block up up Y and you, uh, you know, rip out a spine. <laughs> um, no convo of the week this week, but I did mm-hmm. want to, you know, since Thanksgiving just passed, I just 
I wanted to go and say, Dave, mm-hmm. any, you want to say any words and what you're thankful for? One thing. Pick one thing you're thankful for. One thing. One thing I'm thankful for. I am thankful for the fans, uh, the lovely fans of ours who listen week after week, who engage with us on social media. Uh, you guys are what get us through. You know, you guys are the reason that we're doing all this. Uh, we love it. We enjoy it. So just a big, a big thanks to you guys. Well, you stole my thunder. I can't thank the fans now. No, well, not. you let me go first. I'm just saying you can also <laughs> thank the fans if you'd like. I think they I think I really enjoyed it. You, you know what? You know what? You know what? You said it perfectly. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, I listen. I think we're both thankful for family, mm-hmm. you know, good health, 100%. video games. But I'm mm-hmm. thankful for you, Dave, because we get to do the show together ah, for the last three years. There you go. Virtual high five from across, there the, you go. from across the city. I love there it. I go. love it. That feels good. So hope you guys had a great holiday. Um, back to work for, I think, a lot of people tomorrow, right? Oh, um, God, don't and, remind me. Yeah, right, right. So that's uh, that's it, guys. Episode 141 is in the books. Again, uh, thank you all again for, uh, for for listening and doing all the good stuff that you guys do, um, engaging with us and, and everything. And uh, if you do want to do that, and we know you do, you can find us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, Vero, and Vero at Rated G for Gamers. Uh, and you can email us at info at Rated G for Gamers dot com. So please listen, like, rate, review, and subscribe. And as always, keep gaming. Keep gaming.